Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Scout Comics' latest box. Yeah, Scout Comics was a monthly box of releases, uh, and it's been pretty cool. You can get all sorts of uh, first issues, uh, hard to get uh, variant covers. And it's a great way, if you're really into Scout Comics, to go and get the new releases. Um, so we've been doing this for quite a while, and we're gonna, we'll are gonna we keep it going for at least the near term. Who knows? I haven't quite decided on that. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and see what's inside this box. As I said, like if you are really into Scout, this is a solid way of getting comics from them. Um, you know, generally you'll get, you know, if you get a first issue, you'll get the second, thirds, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, my, my only knock is, in the past, they used to get it so that, like, it would be roughly in time with that month's releases, but now we're kind of behind a little bit. That's a little frustrating. Uh, so let's dive in and we'll actually see what is inside this one uh, and maybe what we'll be reviewing soon. we got Tales of Volcana, Volcania, number three. I don't remember the first two, so I'll be honest, this one is kind of... don't know about that. This Little Piggy, number one. Intriguing cover. Put that aside. That could be reviewable. We got Quicksand number five. Dust number four. Uh, this one's going to be interesting. We got Blood Run number one. Now, uh, Blood Run is interesting in that uh, it was originally crowdfunded on a site called Zoop, in full disclosure, uh, part of the Zoop team. So I actually have the, the Zoop version of Blood Run. This one, I, I think some of the uh, some of the um, dialogue has been changed, stuff like that. So I'm actually really kind of interested in doing a comparison of the Zoop release versus this. The Zoop one is very, very limited uh, to like what was just done on that site. So there's like 50 of them out there type of thing. It's, it is not a thing to find. Uh, it's easy to find. We got Divine Power Made Me. That's a creepy cover. That is definitely a creepy cover. Um, oh, that's interesting. Still I'm guessing this is steak, but I don't know what issue number is because it's not on the cover. But I'm guessing that's an area. Steak issue one special edition. So this is definitely a variant that came out of number one. Steak's been out for a while. So they're filling in with some variants apparently. Cool for the collection. I like Steak. Steak was actually a really good uh, vampire series. We got Side Quest number two. I don't know if we did. I got Side Quest one, but that's good. We probably did. Uh, we got Midnight Western Theater Witch Trial number four. Uh, Traveler's Guide to Flogoria at number six. I'm an issue behind on this, but uh, Trekovi, the Slav with no remorse, uh, remorse number five. Let's see here. Then we got The Thirteen Origins, The Wake from Chispa. I have no idea on this one. This, this, I got like no, no uh, pitch on that one, so I have no idea. Uh, Miracle Kingdom number three. Again, this one doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately. So, uh, there's a few that we'll, we'll probably do some reviews of. Tracovi, we definitely need to do. Uh, Divine Power just creeps me out in that cover, so I feel like we need to do. This little piggy cover is intriguing, kind of sucks me on that one. And I really kind of like the idea of doing the, the comparison of Blood Run of the Zoop version versus the, the Scout version and seeing how they differ. Um, that would be really intriguing. But we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, looks like 13 comics from Scout. Uh, some variants and first issues. As I said, like if you're really a scout at some of these creators, indie, indie comics or like a collector that wants to guarantee first issues, something like that, like it's not a bad box to go uh, go with. It's like 35 bucks, 30 something bucks with shipping. Um, you can get yours. We've got a link underneath this video. We get nothing from it. It's not an affiliate link, nothing. Uh, so you can subscribe easily there. And as always, if you want scout news or just comic news in general, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.